The Bulgarian split squat is simultaneously the best and worst lower body exercise of all time. It is the best because it loads your glutes and quads better than basically any other lower body exercise. But it is the worst lower body exercise because if you do it properly, it will make you cry like a little so in this quick video, I'm gonna explain everything you need to know to master the Bulgarian split squat. Make sure you give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Let's get into it. If you struggle with finding the right foot placement for the Bulgarian split squat, I'm gonna make your life infinitely easier. All you need to do to find the perfect foot placement is sit down on the bench, extend your working leg straight out in front of you, stand up without moving that front leg, put your back leg on the bench, and you have found the perfect stance for your Bulgarian split squat. But if this position hurts your ankle or foot and makes you feel like a little bitch unnecessarily, I'm gonna change your life. All you need to do is grab a towel. You're gonna roll that towel up sort of like a hot dog. You're gonna place that hot dog roll towel right on the bench. And when you're ready to do the Bulgarian split squat, you lay your foot on top of the towel. This way, when you do your Bulgarian split squat, it's much more comfortable. Now, let's say when you're doing the Bulgarian split squat, you wanna target more of your glutes and less of your quads. Try this. When you set up, I actually want you to get a slightly longer stance. So your foot's gonna be slightly out further in front. And this time, I don't want you to be upright really tall. I actually want you to lean forward as you do the movement. It will look like a slightly smaller range of motion, but it's targeting your glutes a little bit better. On the other hand, let's say you want to target your quads and less of your glutes. You're basically gonna do the exact opposite. So you're gonna get a slightly shorter stance and instead of leaning forward you're going to stay more upright it's going to look like a bigger range of motion and it's going to target your quads a little bit better than your glutes you're still going to work your glutes but it's just a little bit more quad focused let's say when you're doing the bulgarian split squat you really struggle with balance i'm going to fix that for you you could hold on to a squat rack you could hold on to a barbell you could hold on to a wall i've got my nifty little mobility stick here no this is not sponsored you can hold on to something as you do the movement and if you want, you can even do that while loading it. When you're holding on to something, I don't want you to squeeze this thing tight. It's just enough to keep you balanced and you can still load it heavier at the same time so you can keep yourself balanced while progressively overloading the movement. Now, some people think it's a good idea to do a Bulgarian split squat on top of the backside of a BOSU ball because it works your balance. That's a really fucking stupid idea. Not only does the BOSU company say on its website not to stand on the backside of the BOSU ball because it's too dangerous, the Bulgarian split squat is a unilateral exercise that challenges your balance enough as is. You don't need to add an unstable surface to make it better. You'd be much better off loading the exercise heavier and heavier and heavier or using better technique or just progressively overloading rather than trying to make it harder through more difficult balance. Speaking of which, let's talk about the different ways you can load the Bulgarian split squat to make it even more effective. You could load it with one dumbbell in each hand down by your side, or you can do one dumbbell in each hand up in a front squat position. Your abs are gonna light the fuck up if you do it this way. You could hold one dumbbell in the hand opposite the working leg to get a little bit more core, or you could hold the dumbbell in the same hand as the working leg so you can load the glute or the quad a little bit better. You could load it with a barbell on your back if you really wanna try and use a lot of extra weight. You could also load it with a barbell in the front squat position if you wanna get more abs involved. If you're an advanced lifter and you wanna work on your strength and mobility at the same time, you could try doing it with the barbell overhead, but again, that's for advanced lifters. You could load it with kettlebells. You could load it with a sandbag. You could even load the sandbag on your shoulder. If you don't have any extra weights, but you have bands, you could wrap the band around your foot and do a Bulgarian split squat with band resistance. Now that you know different ways to load the Bulgarian split squat, I'm gonna show you different variations of the Bulgarian split squat, which you can use with any of the loading mechanisms I just showed you. If you really wanna hate your life, you could do a pause Bulgarian split squat where you pause at the bottom and then come back up. If you're a masochist and like to torture yourself, you could do a one and a half rep where you go all the way down, halfway up, all the way down and then all the way up to count as one repetition. If you wanna cause yourself as much pain as possible, you could do what's called constant tension reps where you just keep moving throughout the entire set, not allowing yourself to pause at the bottom or the top, keeping constant tension on the working muscles. And if you like being so sore that you can't even sit on the toilet the next day, you could add an extra plate or a bench underneath your front foot so you get a bigger range of motion throughout the entire Bulgarian split squat and that'll suck big time. 
Now, before we move into programming and when you should do Bulgarian split squats within your workout, I wanna to talk to you about some of the most common technique mistakes people make. By far, the biggest mistake is driving too much from your back leg off of the bench. The Bulgarian split squat is designed to work the front leg on the ground, not this leg. So if you find yourself leaning back towards the bench and or this quad is really pressing into the bench and you feel this leg working, you're doing too much. Imagine underneath your foot is shards of glass. And if you press down, obviously the shards of glass are gonna cut your foot. So as you do the Bulgarian split squat, this foot should be very light or relatively light on the bench and the vast majority of weight should be pressing from this front leg. Now, some people get worried when I do the Bulgarian split squat because they see that my knee is going in front of my toes. There's nothing wrong with your knee going in front of your toes. Nothing wrong with it at all. What I want you to make sure you're not doing is picking up your heel. I want the majority of the movement to be driven from your heel all the way through your midfoot. You will have some weight on your toes. I just don't want you to be here I want your heel flat on the ground and driving through there the entire time, regardless of where your knee is relative to your toes. One last thing I wanna to touch on for your technique, a lot of people, most people, especially gym bros, will short the range of motion and do this nonsense. And I mean like, what the fuck are you doing? This isn't even close to a full range of motion. I really want you to get as deep as you can. Now keep in mind, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you're targeting your glute, it will be a slightly smaller range of motion as you're leaning forward, but still that's a bigger range of motion than most gym bros use in the gym. I really want you to focus on getting deep and a full range so you can get the most benefit out of the Bulgarian split squat. Now, in regard to programming the Bulgarian split squat and when and how you should do it in your workouts, I prefer doing it within the first one to three exercises of your lower body day. The reason is because, as you can tell and as you know if you've done it before, the Bulgarian split squat is a fucking bitch and it's hard to do and the more fatigued you get, the harder it becomes to balance and actually exert enough effort. I want you to do the Bulgarian split squat when you are fresh and ready to go. So generally the first one to three exercises, ideally in my opinion, usually the first one to two exercises. Now, the cool part about the Bulgarian split squat is if you're a beginner, you can do it with just your body weight. If you're intermediate to advanced, you can load this motherfucker heavy. You can go really heavy, whether it's with dumbbells or kettlebells or sandbags or barbells or whatever you want. And you can do any of the variations I outlined earlier in this video. Generally speaking, if it's the first exercise of the day, you could do it between four to six reps per leg. Second exercise of the day, it could be between six to 10 reps per leg. And if it's the third exercise, usually between 10 to 12 reps per leg. Now, having said all of that, if you enjoyed this video and you want me to write your workouts for you, you can join my inner circle. It is a fitness app with, obviously I'm biased, but the best fitness community, the most encouraging, the most supportive fitness community in the world with beginner people all the way to more advanced people in strength and conditioning. I also help with your nutrition, with fat loss and muscle gain, with athletic performance, and I write the workouts every single month. We have body weight options, dumbbell options, full gym options, everything you need is in there for you. Once you join, you get access to the members only app, which we will email directly to you. And it has everything you need to get your fitness, your health, your strength and conditioning, and your nutrition in check. The link for that will be in the description of this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you don't already. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you soon. Speaking of which, oh, that was close, Mitch. Oh, that was close.